Our next story features Narayan Murthy. He grew up in the city of Mysore in the Indian state of Karnataka. His father was a teacher. Murthy had humble beginnings and today he is one of the world's most revered entrepreneurs. In 1981, he founded Infosys. It has become one of the world's biggest outsourcing firms and it made Murthy a billionaire. His wealth is estimated to be over $4 billion. He is also the father-in-law of Rishi Sunak, the UK Prime Minister. And this week, Narayan Murthy went viral over the 70-hour work week. That's what he recommends. He said, the youth of India should put in longer hours at work. Let me quote from what he said. India's work productivity is one of the lowest in the world. So my request is that our youngsters must say, this is my country. I want to work 70 hours a week. And why did he say this? Let me quote again. So that India too becomes a number one or number two nation in terms of its GDP. This was Murthy's message. He wants the youth of India to help boost the country's growth story. It sounds logical. Except that his comments come at a time when there's been a drastic shift in people's outlook about work. China, for instance, has what is called the 996. People work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. That's 996. And the Chinese youth has been protesting this philosophy. Same in the West. Their trend is called quiet quitting, doing the bare minimum at work. So obviously, Murthy's comments were slammed on social media. He was called a billionaire slave driver, an elitist, someone who's trying to exploit youngsters or push women out of the workforce. And then there were those who agreed with him, like the CEO of Ola Cabs, Bhavesh Agarwal. Do you know who else may agree with him? Former Yahoo CEO Marissa Mayer, she worked 130 hours a week. Or Elon Musk, who famously worked 120 hours a week. John Mackey, who built the Whole Foods empire, he worked 80 hours a week. Alibaba co-founder Jack Ma rose from poverty to become one of China's richest. He worked upwards of 70 hours a week. Do you see the trend? Studies say an average CEO works upwards of 62 hours a week. They also work 79% of the weekends and 70% of vacation days. After all, no one becomes successful because of wanting to work less. And Elon Musk does not get everything right, but he did say something that struck a chord with many. He said, no one ever changed the world on 40 hours a week. But here's a catch. Longer hours do not necessarily imply more productivity, success or money. And Murthy's comments can carry a particular sting when Indians know that already. Several surveys show this. Indians feel that they're the most overworked and underpaid people in the world. According to the International Labour Organization, an average work week in India is 48 hours long. This makes India the fifth country in the longest working hours, right after Gambia, Mongolia, the Maldives and Qatar. Minimum wages in India are among the world's lowest. So there is virtually no work-life balance here. But India is not alone. Mexico, Colombia, Costa Rica, Turkey, Japan, South Korea and South Africa are among the worst when it comes to work-life balance. And putting in long hours has a dark side. Working 55 hours or more impacts health. According to the World Health Organization, working long hours is killing 750,000 people every year through stroke and heart diseases, 750,000 every year. In other words, more people are dying from overwork than from malaria. This is so common in countries like South Korea and Japan that they have a word for it, a word that describes death by overwork. But that's not to say that working longer hours is bad. It's just that it's not for everyone. The world over, people continue to put in the hours. They aren't forced to. They want to. Many of them remain alive, kicking and successful. Because for those who want to put in the hours, science has a cheat code. The only way to sustain working incredibly high number of hours is by having fun. Sounds ironic, I know. But psychologically, Time is not the same for everyone. Yes, same hours, same days each week, but we experience time differently. And when we're having fun, it passes by really fast, like when hanging out with friends or working on a very interesting project. Time flies. So the key to working a lot is having fun with it, enjoying what you do. Instead of all work and no play, try a cocktail of both. It can be a powerful juice.